I am feeling the Christmas spirit, baby. These lights got me on one. Yeah, good job, Mariah. Mariah really, she really did it all. Okay. She really got it all, don't she? She took the little Christmas lights, she put it in our dead plants. Mm -hmm. You gotta spruce it up a little bit. You know, Mama said you cannot, you can't polish turd because it's still turd. Mm -hmm. you, That's you what I mean with these trees. Well, uh, you can't mop mud. Mop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got candy canes by our side. We got, of course, our coffees that are not out yet but we drink it every day so Ooh. we get to experience it before y'all mm. sorry sorry baby it's perfection it's great stuff guys i we cannot wait to finally release it let's get into this podcast there's a lot to talk about today a but roll lot that intro to mm. talk about it's coffee tall baby let's cheers oh my god i forgot you have one hand sorry <laughs> <laughs> i really put you on the spot Woo! oh <laughs> Guys, we did all that silence. That yeah, was I wish you guys could see how awkward that is because we don't have the music playing <laughs> we while do, we're doing it. We do this dance every time the intro, the, you know, while the intro song is supposed to be playing, but it's silent in here when we dance, so it's really awkward. Super but, yeah, awkward. We always got to do it. But, but welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfilter, baby. I'm your host, Zane Hijazi. And I am Heath Hussar. And this is Zane and Heath Unfilter. Yeah. Oh my God. It feels good to be back. I feel like we haven't done this in so long. Yeah, we haven't done it in like a week and a half, right? Yeah, because we, we had to stock up. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Heath and Mariah had to go out of town. Me and Matt had shit to do. So we had a we had a we had a um stock up. Hope you guys had an amazing holiday. Hope you guys got to spend it with your family, your friends, and uh, you know, you were thankful for something. Yeah, thank for thank you so much for coming back and tuning in again. Yeah, that's what we're we really thankful for. It. <laughs> thank you guys for leaving the reviews also on the podcast. <laughs> hey, what's up? I was like, yo, get the merch. Get that merch, baby. Yeah, plug that. There you go. I'm let's ready for started. Christmas. Like as soon as Thanksgiving ends, mm -hmm. I'm like, let's just let's just do this. Yeah. Has like the spirit of the season hit you guys yet? It doesn't hit me until I buy my first gift. As soon as I buy that first gift, I'm like, yes, I can't wait to give it to that person. So then I'm like, yeah, I'm ready for Christmas. I think the older I get, the more it like I don't feel it anymore. I feel I, I feel like I have to wait till I get kids to feel it again. Because what like, do you mean? Like, because I think when I was a kid, it was like really Christmassy when you're a kid, you know. Mm. But now it's not so Christmassy. I think it's because we're in LA too, it, it's, and I, I feel like LA doesn't really celebrate Christmas that <laughs> strongly. I think it's not being with family that yeah. makes it feel not Christmassy. But then also, yeah, being older, that you're not yeah. like the whole fun and joy of Christmas is like you wanted something. There was something that you wanted. Like there was a yeah. toy that was coming out, and like just being a kid, like that was what was exciting about. There was, yeah, it was really exciting getting excited about toys that were coming yeah. out too because now you can't really get excited There's about literally nothing. anything new. <laughs> it's just like you get the new iPhone and that's it. Like what else is there unless you you get a new app in well, the Well things app store. just become so much more expensive yeah, too. That's true. As you get older like you want a car? A $10 toy ain't cutting it. <laughs> like, yeah. What were we getting when we were 15, 16 years old? Still, like, I was I remember, getting Game Boy. Well, no, I, I remember actually. getting clothes. Clothes was my biggest thing. I loved yeah. getting new clothes for Christmas and then uh, my parents would just give me like a check. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my hat just keeps hitting the plant so I can just hear this stuck up in our Christmas tree and you just hear a crackle every five seconds because I keep moving and this thing keeps hitting it but I moved it now so we're good Sorry I still want to play shoots uh. and ladders though but like uh. make a vlog squad edition oh. of shoots and ladders <laughs> that would be fun like an, like an internet uh, version of shoots and ladders oh, okay. we're like you've been cancelled and you go down the oh shoot oh stop <laughs> stop yeah. an old tweet good. has come up from 2009 wow. whammo whammo <laughs> damn that's or, you just collaborated on a makeup palette with Jeffree Star. Whoa! <laughs> Straight to the end. That's good. Oh my god! What other internet things that could happen to you in that like shoots and ladders? I don't know. We should get a patent on it now because people That'd are be gonna be ripping off that <laughs> idea oh my god, as soon great. as they listen to this. Because anybody could play that game. Like, yeah. Anybody. Like you don't have to be like creator to play that game. Like anybody could really enjoy that. No, game. that's so exciting. Holy yeah. Let's shit. Uh, let's plan it right now. Right after this podcast, let's plan it. Okay. Let's go get a lawyer. Get it, get it done before this comes out. <laughs> yeah. So if, if you're listening to this, it's already done. It's already. It's already done. Please don't take our ideas. We just so aggressive. It's done. It's, it's done. done right, so don't even try. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you're listening, we just click pause. So for the past hour, we've been on the phone filing a patent. So uh, sorry, it's done. All right, so to start off, I would like to apologize. If, if I'm acting any differently, I am on a lot of meds. I've, I feel like I've been on the same meds for the past three months. Because well, you had what you had your teeth out. Which I had my was wisdom teeth, so they had to give me strong shit for that, which was hydrocodone. Oh. And then I got my hair transplant done, and they Hydroco prescribed me hydrocodone. Ooh. And then and now soon, what? Now what? <laughs> Hydrocodone. I think I think Zane is purposefully doing shit to put him in a like situation where he has to take. It's like, oh no, he risks breaking his arm just yeah. to be able to get the pills I, again. I hate the medication I'm on. It sucks. 
Like it makes the only good thing about it is that it gets rid of the pain. That's it. But it like really it just it it just downs you. Like it makes you not want to do anything. It makes you like just sit and do nothing all day. And it makes you kind of pouty too. Like you just Does don't it wanna... feel good though? No, it doesn't feel good at all. All it all it does is get rid of the pain for me. Don't people get like really addicted to hydrocodone? That's what yes. my mom was telling me, like sweetie, be careful, you're gonna get addicted to it. I'm like, Mom, the last thing I want to do is be on this shit. Like this shit sucks. I remember when I got my wisdom teeth out, my mom wouldn't let me take the pills because she was scared that I would get addicted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I to be fair, I probably would. No, that happens. Like a lot of like football players I went to high school with would like get injured, then get on like painkillers, and then they were just popping painkillers once the injury was done. It's like it's just a cycle that keeps spinning. Yeah, but Zane's gonna be leaving out codeine for Santa instead of codeine. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> He's like, I don't need him, Santa. You take him. Hydra snowcane. Wait, so explain. Whoa. What? That was almost there. That was, was such it was a close. stretch. It was close. <laughs> Zane, but explain for the people, what happened? Why are you in a sling right now? Okay, Why so, are you <laughs> well, he's in like a sling, but then he's also got like a Robotron brace looking yeah. like so I'll bionicle explain, arm. Yeah, so I'll explain to you what, like, because I had other shit before this. So we went to Chicago for Nally's birthday, and it was great. We had we all had so much fun. It was honestly a really good night. Like, I would I would consider Natalie's birthday night as, a, a, like, one of those, re like, really uh, good Yeah, it was a yeah. blast. Wait, you it was guys weren't there? No. Oh, no well, y'all were there in spirit because <laughs> my, dr my drunken mind thinks y'all were there. Yeah. But. So it, He's we, like, you guys were great. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, like, hopping around at different, like, events that were going on. It was so much fun. And literally, we probably had 15 minutes left till the night. And, you know, we were all outside of a club just uh -huh. being drunk. And... Uh, our friend Michael Lindsay, he's one of uh, David right. Chicago friends. He picks me up like a baby, which is fine, whatever. It's not a big deal. And then he decides to throw me over his shoulder, thinking he could catch me. But I <laughs> flew right past his shoulder and landed on my face and on my elbow. I saw I the video. It. I don't like. What he was doing didn't even make sense. I get like picking up and putting you on the shoulders or doing something like, but like he literally just picked you up and then just dumped you over. Back. Like there was there was no yeah. no end to where he was going. I think I, didn't I get think it. he was just tired. I think he was just like, okay, he I just, can't carry him anymore. And he just over it. <laughs> or over it. You just fucking throw him over. But yeah, as soon as that happened, as soon as I felt that snap. I was screaming. I was screaming. I wish I wish he had a better angle. Like, I'm sick. I wish I could have saw it bend backwards more. Because, like, you can kind of tell what happened in the video. But you then can, not really. But, yeah, you covered it. And I was like, fuck, I want to see there it. There was a ton of comments in David's video saying they still didn't understand. It's like, how did Zayn break, uh, snap his arm? Like, they didn't understand that that exact fall was yeah. what happened like but oh, they didn't really see really. it really yeah it's so funny because well there was one point in the night where i'm like zane's obviously gonna get drunk tonight but like how drunk will he get <laughs> you even snapchat didn't you snapchat i know dancing and you're like i don't think he's gonna make no it. i was i was i was like a bookie at the club i go all right all right i got five ten ten five on zane is he gonna make it is he gonna make the night like will he make it till two will he make it till one oh will he God, not make it till funny. midnight and but there was a point at the club, I think it was like around 1.30, like yeah. reasonable time to like leave. And I was like, you said like, David's like, come on, let's go. And I looked at you and I was like, no, I'm not going to go. <laughs> I'm not, I want to keep the night going. So I stayed. But if I had left, I would have been up the hospital. Oh, so we you. ended up like, you were still continuing the night as we left to yes. go home. And so we I were think, going home and I snapped my arm. I know. Oh, that just makes it, me mad. Yeah. <laughs> and Zane, I feel bad because sometimes I think if I left, maybe he wouldn't have broke his elbow. Like, but, you know how the universe No, no, like, it's, it's the one time if Zane, like, Zane would have been more safe staying at the club and getting more yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, like, yeah. If, he, oh, yeah. if you just didn't leave. I was, I, it just happened so quick. I don't think anybody could have like prevented that from happening. Like, it was so quick where Mike was just holding me like a baby and then just threw me over his shoulder just so quick. So you're hammered drunk. You get to the hospital. Do you, re well, do you remember okay. it once? So, are, are the so nurses I, I being... Remember, I remember just being on the floor and people were trying to touch me and I'm like, don't touch me. Like, you know, like it would just, every touch just was just pain. That's where it was. And I was just like, guys, guys, don't touch me, please. Like I, I, the ambulance, apparently the ambulance came and they couldn't even get me because I didn't want them to touch me because it hurts so bad. Oh my God. I don't remember if I was in the ambulance or if David took me to the, no, I think David took me to the hospital. I think you would remember if you were, I would remember. Ambulance. No. Yeah. Cause I thought they like would put me out before the ambulance, but no, they, David did, did take me cause we got there and immediately as soon as we got to the hospital, I, they walked me in and the nurse immediately she was goes, so mad. sit down, 
sit <laughs> down. Oh, and Dave was like, Jesus Christ. And like David and Ilya even left and filmed them outside, like laughing about it because they couldn't believe how mean. They I'm sure they get I, so many people wasted doing stupid or shit coming. Yeah, but I was Chicago. I was really yeah. seen everything. Like. I was quiet though. I, I wasn't like I was like I was definitely whimpering because I was yeah. I was in such pain, but like I wasn't Aww. being loud they were just yelling at me just like sit down and that was I, I don't remember but like i was i think i was behaving myself and then we just got in and i was i still kept screaming they couldn't they couldn't uh tie me down so they put me out they shoot what? him in the neck with like a train <laughs> no they, <laughs> they, they put a tra- i think that, no they gave me ketamine they gave me all this shit just to put me out ketamine I, they would that's, that's, that's a, a horse, horse tranquilizer, tranquilizer. <laughs> yeah i think on the thing on the thing it said ketamine no did they don't it give said it said ketamine on my in, on the thing that it showed all the all the drugs <laughs> they gave me. I think it was fucked up. Ju- it was yeah. kettle cooked. No, hold on. Like, it, was, it was no hundred percent. It was it said ketamine on there. I'm looking this I up. I mean, I wouldn't really know ketamine unless I saw the word. I, I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it is kind yeah. of used in lower doses. Yeah. And no, dude. So then, I was so then, I was screaming <laughs> like they had to use. <laughs> I think they had to use the strongest thing that they had because I oh wouldn't. I wouldn't stop. It, it was. It was. I was in, and it was weird because I didn't break it. It was just so close to being broken. I cannot believe you didn't. Dude, break Dude, you're it. so. It could have been so much fucking worse. Well, I know. It could have been worse because I. I was actually kind of proud. Your instincts. When you got thrown over, you naturally tucked and rolled, tucked your head. You put you your head down, yeah. You could have had your face up and scorpioned. Like, what? your feet could have went oh, over no, your I'm head. <laughs> no, you naturally, like, rolled like a gymnast. I was like, okay. okay. <laughs> Mariah, I'm a, I'm a, a halftime TikTok dancer. I know how to make I those moves. Time. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's part-time. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Part-time. So, do you regret it? I, you know what? I... <laughs> David got it on camera and there was a, there, there was a whole video about it. We all got some content out of it. So in the end of the day, I didn't regret it. Like everything just happens, whatever. Like I didn't yeah. do it on purpose for the camera or whatever, but it sucks. That it was my right fucking arm. There was three times where I sat there and like, I just stopped what I was doing. Cause I couldn't get anything done. Cause I was eating and I couldn't eat with my left hand. So I put it down and I just, a tear got in my mouth <laughs> because I was just, I Aww. was so aggravated because I couldn't get anything done. I feel like, I, yeah, you're, you're like a super righty too. It's not even like, you're, super righty. <laughs> like you're a righty, but like you do like a lot, right? Yeah. I'm like, I'm 27 years old from here all the way down. And then my left arm is just two, <laughs> two years old. Yeah. Like, I can't do shit with my left arm. I can't, I was trying to sign shit and I, it looks, it looks like David's handwriting. It's awful. It, it just looks. And you looks have bad. good handwriting. And I have so really, that's I really, really good handwriting. Yeah. I think yeah, that probably hurts. I think yeah. it's so sad. You know what hurt me the most? I would like, I was looking through my dancing videos today. Like the last, the last Instagram video I posted. I'll of, never dance of, again. <laughs> of our TikTok dance on your page. Yeah. Like I just saw my arms just doing its thing and it really made me appreciate my like my arm. And <laughs> and like I should I just shouldn't take this advantage of it. So traumatic. It was, I'm not comparing myself to people that are like amputees or um uh, no, disabled yeah. people. I mean, it just it's it sucks and I and like I feel for them. I feel yeah. for them a little bit now, but I know that I'll get better. But So how is this going to change your drinking <laughs> this was not caused by my drinking it was caused by a drunk friend carrying me and throwing me over his shoulder yeah I mean, but if you weren't wasted too it would have everybody would have been wasted and i would have just been there sober and on Natalie's birthday you no know? you don't have but you don't have to like drink to excess right you can tell like i was drinking i was drunk but like i made it through the night <laughs> but, yeah sure if i was drinking less sure but would that have prevented him from throwing over his shoulder if I let him carry me? No, I wouldn't have. Let Will you be more me. careful? Do you think in the future now when you are like really drunk? Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I better not hurt myself. Yeah. No, I mean, you know what? Every time I get into a situation like that, I tell myself, Zane, you won't do it again. Trust me. And then it happens. Yeah. And then the- no, I feel like now <laughs> two someone, shots in, and then if it's- someone tries to pick him up, I feel like he's gonna just be oh, 100 percent. Yeah. He's, he's gonna turn into like you know when you like try to pick up a baby duck, they just <laughs> they just spread eagle, yeah. and go limp. Yeah. Hundred percent. Dude, I won't let anybody pick me up anymore like that. It's, that's it. That's it. Done. Thanks, Done. Michael Lindsay. Done. Done. And Done. I, oh my it. god. I think it's really sad though that you can't drive your Lamborghini. You just yeah. I, I just can't. I can't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> You oh, cannot. I gotta put his pants on for him. Oh yeah, yeah I gotta, no. put, gotta put my pants on for me. The, he <laughs> needs some milk. You know, I was, hey, I was drinking. Milk. I drank milk last night and uh, today, so I think I feel it already. I, I heard it. that the whole milk shit's a lie. It is like that whole campaign, like <laughs> got well, milk in strong the nineties. We were drinking milk all the time. Now it's like, do not. Well, yeah, think, isn't that weird? I don't think it's m- like milk that makes your bones strong. I think it's just a vitamin. That in no that correct just helps you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. right, but they wanted you to drink milk so they could sell milk. Like the milk yeah, business that's how they funded it. it. The campaign to uh-huh. make the benefits big about it. Like, yeah, 
That's crazy. That's crazy. I hated that milk. Crazy. I and never everybody, drank it. You need to drink milk. Dave and Ilya was telling us that Ilya used to work at Chuck E. Cheese's. <gasps> Matt used to but work at Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, yeah, you Jeez. did used to work at Chuck E. Cheese's. We say happy. You say birthday. Happy birthday. Happy All right. Oh, Mariah, you, you work there too? No, I just Oh, okay. Oh, the juice the funny. Got it. Right, right, right. The juice the funny. Right, right, right. She's following along. Right. trying to keep it. The... I never do that. I can't wait to talk to Ilya now. She looked over. She was like, ooh, choreography. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't wait to hear your conversations with him about it because you probably have so many stories. But there's a specific story that really haunted me. When Ilya worked, there, there was a day where because he used to make the pizzas at Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, here we go. And he was just making pizzas. He was making pizzas all day, and then he looked down and saw that his finger was bleeding the entire time no. at work, and he was making the sauce. <gasps> so the blood, the, you oh couldn't see where the blood God. was going because he was just working with the marinara, and the blood was like coming out of his finger, like. A lot. Well, right. He should have been wearing gloves at Chuck E. Cheese's. He they, they were very strict about the the cut free gloves we had. Well, wear. they might have been strict after that incident. Oh, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> that was the nationwide like change. Right yeah, there right. So it, if something was in the blood and was in the marinara sauce and it got baked and then got eaten, you're fine. Is that, you're I think fine. You're right? fine. Okay. And it gets it's cooked. just gross. <laughs> I'm making things up. <laughs> oh, but, but well, how hot was cooked, the oven? <laughs> the blood goes That's away. Cool. So wait, so like what? Like thirty percent of Chicago's now like. <laughs> That's a little bit of Ilya in there. <laughs> it, it like fucks up to 23 and me. Like everybody's jeans are now mixed. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, Heath, do you want to tell the Starbucks story? Oh my, this was disgusting. Ew, what, what, we, what? We went to Starbucks in Miami oh, and- Gross, uh, that's already gross. Already yeah, gross exactly. story. There's like a couple people in line. We order our drinks. We're sitting there waiting. They serve the guy next to us and he like is taking a sip of his drink. He like looks at it and goes, oh, wait. Gives it back to the barista. Barista looks and is like, oh, shit. Dumps it into the frat maker. Throws ice into it. Starts blending no, it up. No, he and I'm doesn't. Watch, so I ordered a peppermint frappuccino. Peppermint mocha. So I watch him give it back. He looks at it. Dumps it in the blender. And I'm like, if he puts peppermint and mocha in there, pump peppermint, pump, pump mocha. Blends it up. I was like, he's going to give it to me. No Fuck way. And then put and a saw lid this. on it. Yeah. And gave it to her. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, Starbucks. Did you say anything? Crazy. That's crazy. Well, that no, we didn't, we, we we didn't a, say anything. We, had a we were literally to catch, so we had a rushing. Dark, there was no time to do anything. I but like just run. seeing like the guy. So, so you drank it. it. And then <laughs> so I like, drank it. <laughs> <laughs> gave it back. Like that's so crazy. You, but you know what? Like there's, I'm not, I think that's disgusting and terrible. There are so many Starbucks. There's like, there have to be like moments like this oh, where yeah, it happens. Sure. But, but you yeah. know what? You, you know? know what? Starbucks could have like made another one, but it really wasn't Starbucks. Fault. It was that fucking dude's fault. For, right. For exactly. drinking it and giving it back to them and letting them like do that. I think you're both wrong. Like, yeah. uh, uh, like the guy and the barista. Yeah, because I mean, if somebody uh, were to call my order and like, I took a sip and I was like, Oh wait, this isn't mine. Like, well, maybe obviously <laughs> like it's, it's trash at that point. Like give it back, whatever it, Oh, Sorry. Boom, I'll make you a new one. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't pay attention to the comp once they take it, right? Maybe yeah. his name was Mariah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> it was it. like, oh, this is mine. This is not mine. <laughs> I could not believe that. I don't, really but the thing is, like, even if we weren't late, I wouldn't say anything anyway. I would just throw it out. I just I can't speak up when it comes to like food and stuff. Or would you just like kind of dump the first I'm, half because maybe the first half is like the contaminant? It, it was put into the blender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm the same way. Like I will not like tell a waiter yeah. if I, something is bad. I just won't eat it and just be like, all right, yeah. I'm gonna right. go. But like some people are, like because be, I feel like, like that makes it worse. Like if your food comes out and there's something wrong, and you're like, this is wrong. This is blah blah blah. Like I feel like they take it back and they're like spit in it now yeah they're gonna make it worse yeah. yeah obviously you guys were in a rush so you had to get out of there but if i was in that situation i would i would like softly tell the person what he just did just to let him know like hey like the guy drank it before you like took that and like blend it all so you might want to wash everything but like just <laughs> let them know just because if, from that experience they could tell everybody else all the workers be like hey this just happened to me yeah just be careful guys just to like you know, clean it up a little yeah. bit in there just in case something like Raise that Raise awareness. Again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make a change, Make you know? Did, wait, did, be better. Speaking of Chuck E. Cheese's, though, did they really do the, the pizza, like, that is not box true. Box? Oh, that I, is not true unless something weird and spooky has happened over the past spooky. years. Okay, and Ooh. the thing is that in Shane's video, when they got the pizza, it was actually not all the same, equal sizes. I don't know. I thing. just think something fishy is up. It. Well, for the people who are listening, there's this conspiracy that a Chuck E. Cheese's the pizzas that come out are 
just leftover pizzas made they, into, a big pizza. into a pizza. So you're saying that someone there at Chuck E. Cheese's is going around, someone that the manager told their employees, and no one's been like, that's gross. There's some little henchman in the back who goes around collecting all the, the pizzas. It does not what if, But what if they're like splitting, after they cut all the pizzas, they split it, and then if people ask for like half pepperoni, half cheese, they'll take the half from the cheese, half from the pepperoni, and from there, maybe it gets a little mixed up. There is no way that's happening. I don't know. I mean, I... I don't think that, that they could get away with that. I feel like people would say something and it would spread. I like, worked be at, like I worked there and I know for sure that this happened. I but worked there, there for two years. It didn't happen. I respect the Chuck. Did you work in the, the, the cheese? All right, there we go. Did I you work in the, the kitchen? Cheese. Well, I would pick up pizzas in the kitchen and I would eat pepperoncinis oh, back so there. So you don't know. <laughs> so you don't know. I don't know. But the, the guy Chase who worked there was he was. Is a good Chuck E. Cheese cool? I've never been. I've always wanted to go to a Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, I mean, yeah, as, as a kid, as a kid, sure. You really shouldn't go there as an adult. You should have a kid. Because, like, even if there is an adult that comes in, they say, like, I need to tell the manager and just, like, keep an eye on this person. Because uh, the, cause it's a kid's I'm place. Sure. You don't want, like, yeah, adults yeah, yeah. coming in and hanging around oh, kids. I was never allowed to, like, jump into those ball pits because, like, my mom this, thought there ball was, like, pits don't needles exist and anymore. syringes. Remember and, the McDonald's ball pit yeah, playgrounds at disgusting. McDonald's? Disgusting. You, like, you fucking eat your food and then go Ew. to the playground and just, go right like, back. Just, like, barbecue fingers all up it, in the... Uh-uh. There's no way... Like, how did they get that approved? Like, the sanitary, like... <laughs> it was the nothing. 90s it was a different time <laughs> but then now they're like gone you can't find a ball pit anywhere like how do they even clean them as you guys know the holidays are upon us everybody wants to get home for the holidays mm -hmm. they want to see their family their friends and the most stressful part of all that is packing your suitcase and trying to get there preach say it mm -hmm. again baby what what makes it a little bit easier is having an away bag yeah if you don't know what an away bag is it's the suitcases that all of our friend group use I got one Zane's got one David everybody uses them because they literally are the best yeah like I hate traveling and I feel Feel like I can't fit all my stuff into any bag, so I yeah. always have to use a giant, giant check bag. And then you're, and then you're, you're, you're paying for it to go on yeah. the plane. No, cut all that crap. Get one suitcase. Fits it all. The carry-on suitcase at Away literally fits everything you need for like more than a week trip anywhere. The best part about it is it has a built-in compression pad that literally squishes your clothes down tighter so you could pack more into it. Exactly. It's so, the best thing. So if you're at a hotel and like you have dirty clothes and you got to go and you got to put it in your suitcase. It's got the little slot for that exactly. too, baby. And then you can zip it up and separate all your clean clothes from your dirty clothes. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. It has a built-in TSA approved locking zipper. And so they can't get into your baby, stuff. Baby, nobody's going to get in your little undie drawer, take exactly. your little stuff. Exactly. Uh -huh. exactly. You can even get them with the charger that goes into the suitcase. Yeah. It, it literally, you just plug your phone into your suitcase and you're charging. If your phone's dying at the airport and mm -hmm. you're on the go, baby, you just plug it in and you're charged up. Baby, it's a lifesaver in more than one ways. I tell exactly. you what. They got the little rolly wheels on it, go 360 degrees. Ever since I oh. got this bag, I can't roll the bag behind me anymore. I have to put it sideways next to me and turn. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, no, it, it's just, it's easier. It's easier for your arm. It's it's just like a, it's like a nice, smooth ride. Mm. Ain't like it, having, having that away bag. It literally, it makes traveling so much easier. And what's great about it is it has a hundred day trial period. So if you use it, abuse it, get lost with it, whatever you got to do, if you don't like it, send it back and they will literally give you your money yeah. back. So you go to awaytravel.com slash unfiltered 20. Mm, that's right. And if you're in the US, EU, UK, Canada, Australia, if you order before 11:59 on December 15th, you will get free ground shipping delivered to your door before December 20th. So if you guys want to see last minute holiday shipping details, go to awaytravel.com backslash unfiltered 20. The best part about it is if any part of your suitcase breaks, the customer service will replace it or fix it for you wow. for free. And I still haven't, like I've had mine for what, three years and it still hasn't bre broken, breaking. <laughs> it still hasn't breaking on me yet. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. But like, I've had so many suitcases get destroyed from traveling with it. And I've seen it. I've seen your old suitcases and they get destroyed. That's why quick. I'm so happy I got this one and I don't have to worry. And you know what? If something does happen, <laughs> they'll fix it. Exactly. And it's got a lifetime warranty. Ooh. So guys, you really need to take advantage of this deal. Again, awaytravel.com slash unfilter20. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself, treat your loved one, and give a gift that will give for the rest of their life. Did I ever pit. tell you about how I got fired from my volunteer job. I think I might've told you about <laughs> you told this. Me, you told me, but I don't think you told not. My first job, I was a camp counselor. I was a volunteer for like little kids summer camp. And we went to a place that was similar to Chuck E. Cheese. It was called uh, Kabooms. <laughs> Kabooms. Oh, Kabooms yeah. okay. great. So there, was, have that. there was like a roller rink and then the arcade on the side. So I was overseeing the seven-year-olds <laughs> and I had this one kid and he comes up to me and he's like, uh, I, I want this ball like in like this big claw thing and then um, we like go over to it and it's it, it's the claw but it's a jumbo size and the door is like 
a foot by a foot wide. Oh, no. So I was like, <laughs> I held the door. He crawled in through the trap door where the prize comes out, and he stands up, and he's picking up a ball from inside of it, puts it under, and then he goes to, like, go back and he's like one more and i'm like no get out like that's it don't be greedy oh, no. and then he goes to grab another one and as he's grabbing that one he's sliding out with it and the door closed on top of his like lap so he's <laughs> stuck and he won't let like the ball go to like come out so his legs are sticking out of the machine kicking like this and he's just like got this big ball in his hands all of a sudden the security for the place comes walking by sees this little kid's legs kicking out <laughs> comes running over I, f I panicked. I freaked, and I just dipped. I just fucking you, you I left. Ran. I didn't, I didn't know, know you dipped. I didn't know what to do. So I'm like, holy shit! I, I was scared. I think I was 15. I didn't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I was just I guess, trying to get. I was trying to get the ball. Like it was, <laughs> it was the biggest prize. Wait, is Dang, big, they had 15 year olds as counselors. I didn't get paid. It was just like yeah. you're volunteering, trying to earn community yeah. service points. Right, exactly. I, guess. I ran away, and I started going to like the other side of this place. Maybe like 15 minutes later. Uh, the people working there walk up to me. They're like, come here real quick. <sighs> They're like, is this you? And it's me on like a security camera. Oh, no. <laughs> is this you? You just flipped and your shirt inside it's out. It's me <laughs> running away. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm busted. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. So long story short, they end up firing me. I lost the job. And they used that security tape as a what not to do for future Counselor and training. <laughs> so still to People. this day, that video of you is being used? Like two years later, like somebody that I knew was like, oh my God, I saw your video. Like <gasps> for when they went and applied to become like the, the job that I had. They show it on what not to do, but you know they show it as a, as a laugh. Exactly. Like they're, yeah. They're, yeah. People are laughing. They're all laughing at it. I wonder where that kid is now. Like I just want to know. I was thinking the same thing. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if that kid is you, Eight years reach out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's 18. Wow. He's 18. Wow, that's wow. crazy. If you're listening, we would love to What was to the name of the camp? Zinnitha unfiltered at um, gmail.com. It was... That's okay. I don't remember. It's fine. I'm sure it's it'll okay. click. If somebody's like actually listening, I'm sure it'll if I was, If I was your camp counselor, please <laughs> please reach out. <laughs> there was a lot of kids. Oh, I got a question. How was y'all's Thanksgiving? Your parents met. Oh it was my God, it was a breeze. Great. It, it was, was so good. Yeah. They're like best friends now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Aww. great. They loved each that, other. That really is like the the like the most nerve-wracking part. Of could you imagine yeah. if we came back and like you could tell like there was tension between <laughs> us? Like, so I'm guessing they didn't like each other. My parents watched their home movie. It was what's it, uh, Oh, you can't even explain. Do we even explain that? Explain it. No, so, I want to hear so, it. Okay, wait. Let me, oh, it's my family. You want me to it's, it's my movie. <laughs> I starred. Okay, so long story short, I have this crazy uncle. Um, He has been making these movies, family home movies, yeah. called Dark Scary. And it's like kind of after... <laughs> Dark Scary. It's mimicking like Scream or Halloween. So it's okay. a serial killer, right? <clears throat> so he's been filming these. I have a cousin who's 28, and he's been filming it since she was like nine. Okay. So we have like... Whoa, this is like a... There's 10 parts. Yeah. like a Richard Linklater like, yeah. style so project. So it's a 10-part movie and you wait to see like who the killer is or whatever and we just watch all of us grow up in these movies and like my Hold uncle what, what is this how is this movie set up like what what is this set up like it's just okay let me explain before this gets a little weird my uncle uh he's a professional boxer and he taught us karate and stuff so he taught us all self-defense yeah so in the movie he's like lifting us by the hair and he's throwing us around so his parents were like what is this but that's normal <laughs> <laughs> he's oh a fun God. uncle <laughs> like, he's, like, like he's like rough housing but like i remember him telling us like you need to kick me you need to punch me as hard as you can like fight so he was like teaching us to fight but filming this move I, it's so hard to explain i could see <laughs> it's like hitting her right now like wait a minute so this is why this I don't sounds talk like a document like this looks like it sounds like a documentary like yeah of someone a, should of do a family a of a like family that just went crazy but like this is how they started where they yeah. used to make horror movies but i think it's so it's such a cool project but when is it gonna end it's been going on now for how many they're years? talking no, about 11 no. it's, it's very hard to explain it sounds very weird but i got decapitated in the movie that's how i died <laughs> did he make like a fake a big head like, to roll? No, what he did was he takes this like knife or whatever and i'm running away and he like catches me and i i remember he had to cut it here it's a really it's like vine tree and then he goes okay step forward and then he put it under my hair and he was like okay now fall to the ground and it just like pulls through my hair <laughs> movie magic baby <laughs> <laughs> it's that's like adorable. really poorly filmed but that's what's funny you know what as, at least you guys tried at least yeah. you guys tried yeah. to film, yeah. you know? and it's, it's still going no that does sound 
on like a like a, like a crazy plot for a horror movie. Like this dad that loves horror movies and wants his family to be involved Whoa. in a horror movie. But and it's been going on yeah. for years. He becomes years. like crazy and like tries to kill. I don't know. Yeah, I do like we just it. Get, we just get wild. It's a good story. It, it is a good plot. It's a good yeah. start. Scream inspired him. <laughs> so he was like, "Oh, I want to be a serial killer. Let's do it. Let's get all the three year old cousins yeah. and kill them." <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. So Didn't bad. your your uncle like? Date Jennifer Aniston. Oh yeah, I saw on your story. That's the same one. Yeah, 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 that's yeah the same yeah. guy. Well, so what's the story with him dating so Jennifer Aniston? He went to school with Jennifer Aniston, and they like made out, right? That's crazy. And then so she gave weird. him her number, her phone number, gave it to him, and then he just threw it away. And then he said, "Next thing he knows, she's on Friends." Oh, the- <laughs> wow! And he was like, "Great." What was he thinking? Was Biggest thinking? kick in the ass crazy. ever. That could have been my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh you know i did picture him like because i watched the stories and i like you could really just see who he is in, your, yeah, in yeah. the stories yeah i could i could see him and jennifer aniston together right. for some right. weird reason and then i looked at i saw a picture of jennifer aniston aniston again and then it kind of looked like your mom for some reason <laughs> oh my god but then god. my mom my mom kind of reminds me of um jennifer aniston aniston too and, and then my, my mom, mom reminds me of your mom yeah, exactly so they all just oh, kind of so look it's all kind of connected that's so interesting that's crazy anyway but yeah about- thanksgiving was great and uh it could have been better if he married jennifer aniston yeah right Wait, were there were there any like challenges at all like having your parents meet your parents like would you have like any advice for anybody going through that like um, or just tips i guess just being like I was a little bit nervous. I just wanted it to go smoothly. I didn't want like there to be like any awkward like I don't know. The second they met though, we were both like, (sighs) yeah, they were. They took off without us. Oh, that's the best. You just wanted to be smooth like butter, just kind of like where you felt like you didn't have to like not one up, but like you didn't feel like you had to keep pushing for a conversation. You just kind of wanted to just chill. And And luckily, like my mom's like very talkative. She's a so is my mom. Oh yeah, your mom is talkative. That's good. Yeah, she could talk about anything. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. We need to give her a podcast. Your dad started talking like my dad because my, my dad talks like this. Like, what do you want me to do? And, you and your dad was like kind of making fun of that. He's like, hey, Nick, where's the garbage? <laughs> <laughs> it was so um, Yeah, it was great. Um, if you're in that situation, I mean, just don't sweat it. Just yeah, yeah, let yeah. it play out. Zane, what did you do for your Thanksgiving? A complete opposite. Uh, I didn't see any family. I was actually with just Jeff for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. I saw oh, the stories. It was, it, was re- I mean, it, was, it was more funny than, than anything. We kept telling each other, like, oh, man, this shit's depressing. And Jeff was just like, we don't need fucking family, man. All you need is, all we need is each other. Let's let's do this thing. So I'm like, Jeff, no, no. We go to Ralph's and we pick up, like, Cheesecake Factory bread. And oh, we, so we, you had a great Thanksgiving. We, we pick up the turkey that's already made in like the the, the little oh my God. stage. <laughs> got like box mac and cheese and we got like canned green beans and we just made Thanksgiving. I'm surprised you guys didn't go to like Boston Market and just you like, You know yeah. what? You were, but it was it was too far. It was like 30 minutes out and we're like, ah, let's just let's just grab the food from Ralph's and make it. So we made everything. We made pie in the end. It was, was really was, nice. Was Nerf there? Nerf was there. We gave we gave him some bones. There you go. So he had oh, a how, how was the meal? Was it good? It, it was. You know what? It wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was. It was actually pretty. <laughs> it was. It was. It was. It was okay. I would have much rather had a like fucking uh, they homemade yeah right. a homemade fucking meal, but. Um, it's all right. It was it was funny. It, like it, it made funny IG stories, you know. Yeah, no, it looked so great. It was worth it. <laughs> as long as you got the Instagram story, yeah. baby. And then next day I went to Chicago, but it was weird. On my flight to Chicago, I swear on my life, Bernie Sanders was sitting behind me. Really? I swear to God. I, because I was trying to I was trying to get like a I was trying to get a picture, <laughs> but he was staring the whole time. So I couldn't get the picture, but I really wanted to get one Damn. so I could show you guys. He recognized you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like He's like trying to like he, he are you watched Zane? the podcast. Zane <laughs> he was wearing one of those like quirky shirts that like the I was wearing like a Bernie twenty twenty <laughs> shirt. <I didn't> <laughs> <laughs> and the guy in front of me he was this like older white dude. He was like a forty five year old white dude and he was just watching K pop the whole time. Really, it was really interesting. It, it, K-pop yeah. is taking over. Yeah, you know, like you know yeah. the, the girl, the girl K-pop singers, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see those group, those huge group girl ones that they all like just synchronize dance. They're all really With, good like, and quick. like Blackpink and uh, yeah, 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 the yeah, other yeah. big ones. Who's just watching those videos the whole time? It was, it was, it was actually interesting. Uh, that was actually like Bernie's like campaign advisor. <laughs> 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 Bernie thinks that he's been working on like all of his campaign. Yeah, trying to see work, what's new, been, what's hot, yeah, what's hot in the what's internet, what's keeping up with the trend. While I was with Jeff for Thanksgiving, I was watching Matt stories for thanksgiving i swear Matt. on my life you you're so fucking white it's crazy <laughs> your thanksgiving looked amazing like, it, it, it looked like I you're know. on the set of get out the 
the whole weekend. It was just you and your white family in this like dock style home. Just, yeah. it, it just, it looked gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. y'all, we're gonna do the polar plunge. Come on down. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly fun. how you described it. Yeah, That's exactly what I a thought. A little it would family be. cake ball. Loved it. What's wrong with that? There's nothing What's wrong, wrong with that. It was just. It was really <laughs> funny seeing that. Yeah. Like, it was really funny seeing that. No, like, it's really that's adorable. like you see it in movies and you're like, wow, no families are like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, but there are. There yeah, are like and, that. You're looking at one. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We like did the polar plunge. We had uh, the football game for the turtles versus oh, the frogs. I get so won. excited. Uh, the turtles did. Obviously. The turtles. I got drafted and I was really excited. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Who was the and, captain? Uh, the captain was, well, I guess you could, the captain is like Greg, my uncle Greg. Greg, but uh, Henry was Greg the Henry. Oh person gosh. who drafted me. So he's How the one many who makes rushing the yards did he get? Me? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I, 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 oh, no, oh, no. We're not rushing. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just there to talk trash. What well, did you get a touchdown? No, I didn't get a touchdown. I think because like I was on my I was on my phone just trying to get the best shot of everything, and my uncle Greg was like, "I'm not throwing it to Matt. He is not paying attention." What was that? What was that like metal slide? Oh, toboggan. Thing? We went down a oh, toboggan. Cool. Where you, was that? Was that like in your backyard? No, that was at the uh, <laughs> state park. So it's like uh, you know those like sleds that kind of curl up, those old fashioned kind of sleds. Mm-hmm. That's oh like a yeah, toboggan. yeah, yeah. And you go down this big old slide, and it's like they have had like a little bit of patch of ice iced over. Dude, guys, I thought I was going to die i was like this is it, it. looks sketchy but fun yeah. is it, is it, it like goes a- fast right so fast like 50 miles an hour fast wow Holy like once shit. you do it once Wait, i is was it like the one, not it's got like it. a ski on the bottom right yeah or like uh you're talking about the front of the sled well it's got underneath oh, the sled underneath aren't has, there like yeah like, uh and there's no brakes you just no you hit just a big go. pile of snow and i was on the back and it was four of us guys like my life flashed before my <laughs> eyes on it I, there was a moment where i'm like this is the end and i thought of you guys but <laughs> <laughs> I that's, really th- did. that's how I feel every time I go on the um what what are those things the the fucking uh what we did in Alaska I keep forgetting what that's called zip lining zip lining oh, yeah. Yeah. every time I do a zip line I I zip my lines entire are sketchy, though. my entire life flashes before my eyes like well, your dad that, al- your dad almost died on yeah what? a zip line so my, so that's gotta, my my dad almost died on a zip line so actually? he his work is that he's constantly in different hotels cruises like he's part of like big groups and he has to make sure everybody gets to each thing like safely and make sure everyone like the, all right fifty two head count fifty two all right, 52 people are here. He like helps with like uh, trips for different companies. Okay. He was working on a cruise for this trip and the cruise line or the, the client was like, Oh man, you got to get on the zip line. He's like, no, no, I really, like, he, he was working. He's working. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to, he really didn't want to do anything. He didn't want to get on the zip line. He's not the, the zip line type person. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he is. He, he's really athletic. He loves. No, he, he is, athletic, but I can't, I, I can't picture Ahmed. Let's go zip line guys. No, no, he like, would not. No, he's not the type of like, let's go zip lining, but, um, he so they they basically forced him to go zip lining. He really didn't want to go, but he he had to because the client wanted him to go and he wanted to make the client happy. So he got on the zip line and he was a uh, first. The way it was set up was that like you you went back first and you were kind of in a lay down position and they would put three of you at, at once and then they would send you. Right. But it was like you were high up in the fucking. It looked like the Grand Canyon where they would have the zip line. Like much, like remember where we yeah, were? Yeah, yeah. Much higher than. Don't that. look down. Don't look down. <laughs> Obviously, they sent they sent people uh, before my dad, and they got stuck. And the person in the end did not ring it in in time before they they sent in the next three people. So the next three people, which my dad was a so part of, bad. in the front. Got sent, and he was like, "No, no, no!" And he's like, "Did you send him?" He's like, "I already sent them," and they were no. like, "Fuck!" Because it it was like the how fast it's going. It's going when so you, fucking fast. You don't realize it, but zip lines do like. 40, 50 miles yeah. an hour. Like, they're quick, especially, especially if you're on, like, a big one. And if there's three adults, like, laying down, like, laying down, like, back first, you're going fucking fast. So, all of a sudden, my dad, like, he's, he's they're all going. He's, like, just on the zip line, and he just hears screams, like, no, please stop. We're stuck. And my dad, like, oh, literally, my dad, fuck. like, it was, like, a, a good 15 seconds before he, like, like, that he knew that he's fucked. He's fucked. Oh, my God. I'm fucked. I'm fucked up. And then he, back first hits these people like 40 miles per hour full force and they all fucking just hit each other and they're just dangling from a fucking thread nope dude they're all dangling like he got like hit in the back so hard where he like he like lost consciousness for like a good maybe 20 seconds and then he woke up and he's just dangling (gasps) from hundreds of feet fucking from the the ground imagine being like 
going backwards and they let you go and then you see them as you're falling like going away and oh, they're yeah. like I already sent them I don't know what to do and you're just like yeah, what, did you do? <laughs> what, what did the you fuck do? I, oh. that's awful he sent me he sent me a picture uh, I, if I can if I my dad can find the picture I'll, I'll have you put it up mm-hmm. of the picture of the three of them on the zip line not when they're dangling but like right, be- right before they got sent off that's terrifying did he, terrifying dude did he sue he did not sue my dad is not the type where any other person in that, like especially because he was working, they would have sued. They would have sued the company. Workman's they would have sued the, everybody. The whole, but don't yeah. you sign dad, some waivers though, right before where it's like, um, no, at that that know. was negligence from the company working, so that it's not anybody's fault but the <sighs> company's fault. Right. If my dad got hurt because he was ziplining and like nothing happened and he got hurt, then he can't sue. But like Zane got zipline money. <laughs> 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 um. No, my dad. My dad. Like I remember asking my dad after, was like, and you didn't sue. He's like, no, because he he believed and karma like if he, if he sues them something bad's gonna happen to him because like because you're ruining somebody's life when yeah. you sue, when you sue yeah. somebody like that so but you still went on a zip line after knowing that your dad <laughs> yeah and that's why I that. really really didn't want to go on that zip line it's all like dude Fuck my dad that. got fucked on a zip line I really don't want to do well, it but that's I, my I, excuse I, why I don't want to go on one is hearing that like, <laughs> right exactly imagine the, how the client felt just <laughs> just oh, forced yeah. my dad. Hey, I'm it. come on let's <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my gosh. No, did did I tell you, uh, Ella, my friend, she got into like a uh into a jet ski accident. Oh, and she got, she was able to get like fifteen thousand dollars out of it. Yeah, because Woo! like she, she uh, somebody ran, Cha-ching! somebody ran into, like somebody ran into their jet ski. Like, like I, just, never, I'm, just, I'm not a baby, like by any means. But this is why I don't do a lot of shit <laughs> because I don't, I don't need an accident. Because happen. other people yeah. are stupid, right. not you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who See, pays for the fifteen thousand dollars? That first? jet ski company. It's, I, I mean, whoever is running that, running the show. That's pays for fascinating that. to me. Crazy. I remember when I was younger, I was in the back seat of my mom's car and she got rear-ended and it was like a pretty bad car accident and i remember my back just getting rocked <laughs> and then my it's not remember, funny not funny like, it not was funny, but not fun it was but awful said. it was terrifying like yeah. the guy just didn't stop at all and just came slamming into the back of us and i remember it hurt really bad and i remember like the next day my mom being like it's all right you're gonna get money and i was like i'm gonna get money <laughs> yeah <laughs> The no. first thing you're about to say, honey, sweetheart, you're going to get money. We're going to be rich. Listen, we're going to oh we're gonna pay everything off. It's all right. Everything's good. And I was like, what do you mean I'm going to get money? And sure enough, the insurance gave me money. And I was like, we should do this more often. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story about, uh, were you, uh, no, no, you weren't. I thought you were on there. But uh, we're on our way back from school. We were on a school bus. Did I ever tell you about this? The school I don't bus think accident. So, so we were, I love story time. This this we shit's were, so uh, fun. So we were. Uh, it was after school. I think it was uh, fifth grade or sixth grade. We were on our way home on the school bus after school. <laughs> oh shit! I and, love when he laughs before. No, and no, this late, this late. The, our school bus driver. She was just nasty. She was just always been just nasty to everybody. Just never in a good mood. And one day we were all just chit chat, having fun, and then <laughs> boom. No. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Always wear a uh, seatbelt on the school bus. There's you no seatbelts on school buses. No, there is. There is. There is seatbelts on school buses. There are. There. Yeah. The, not the on ours. Not mine. Let me, let me finish cool. the story because it, it, it gets better. So. Oh, my God. So we all, the, the bus literally, it goes boom. Like the whole front goes up and everyone's like, whoa. Like they hit the roof. Like, Whoa. Oh my yeah, God. There were some people that hit the roof because it was just, it came out of nowhere. And then, like, everybody was okay. Nobody got hurt. Like, that was on the bus. And we look over the entire car. So, like, we were making a left as somebody was going straight. And the car that was going straight under the bus went Holy under the shit. bus. No. It was, no, it went, it, it crashed to the front and, like, the, the half of it went oh. under the bus. And so we, we saw it like oh my. there was like eight they people that came out of that day. car. Everybody's just crying in the car. Everybody's crying. The driver was like unconscious. And my bus, the bus driver is just. <laughs> she just no. she like in her a, car. She said, you fucked up my bus route. <laughs> my bus she, route. Exactly. she sat there, didn't get out. She was just like. I'm away. I'm just gonna wait for the uh, for the. She was just sitting there on her phone, like not. She didn't get out to make sure that the, anybody in there was okay. Damn. Well, I saw a compilation of like a bus driver and all like the stuff that they like accidents oh, they happen and yeah. how many people kind of hit it. But the way they do like 
react to it is like they're more like annoyed and calm but they have to follow like a procedure like i think it's it, being with kids is like a big thing yeah being yeah, responsible okay. for you're yeah. the only adult looking at looking yeah, at so they yeah. can't get yeah. off they probably have to dispatch somebody to come and assess the accident that makes sense. and yeah. like i feel bad now no it's no, okay but that was but funny no, that was no, great no, no. <laughs> no i love i like that story yeah, did yeah. you see the tiktok though of the the kids that convinced their bus driver <laughs> to hit a speed bump at 60 miles an hour oh yeah yes oh hold on. I, okay for some reason, I didn't believe that. I, why do I feel like one of the kids or it's like one of the, like somebody they knew were driving a school bus yes. and they you think that, so? Y'all don't think I, I don't think a bus driver no. would do that. I don't it think so sick. either. But still, they slammed <laughs> in. I heard him right. That's the that's the back of the bus. She really got the bus moving. That's the front of the bus. I thought we wasn't gonna steal the bus. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. But yeah, no. But still, they still hit the roof. Like that's crazy. Have you seen the can opener bridge? The it is the <laughs> most addicting thing to watch. They call it the can opener. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a bridge, but it's at a height that's like a couple inches lower than most uh, allowances for trucks to go underneath. So every big truck that goes underneath it, the whole top of the truck just is ripped off. off. Oh, oh yeah. my God. I, and it literally it peels now. the entire thing back. So they're just going boom, tunneling through it like 70 miles an hour. They hit the bridge and it just rips the whole top of the the uh, semi off. Right, instead of calling it can opener bridge, why don't they just rebuild the bridge? I don't. So, <laughs> yeah, that makes no why sense. Why yeah. And how far are the signs crazy. away? Yeah, like, like saying how... like, guys, watch out, can opener bridge. Like, it dude, it doesn't even look the like there's an exit anywhere. Thing. Like, it's it's not it's, funny, so, so but it's still it's, it's still up. open. Like they can. The can opener bridge is still a thing. You can Zane, still you drive under it. Dude, it's pictures on pictures and pictures of just these trucks just running. They the, just, the, the top it are just scraped off. It, I love how they still keep driving. Literally, they drive through and they just keep driving. But down. imagine Fuck like it. you you think you're going to clear it. You're just, or you're not even paying attention. Like all of a sudden just, yaga. Oh and like your, your truck gets ripped back. That's and gotta be wait, terrifying. Do like, you think they call in their employer and they're like, "You won't believe what happened." And the guy's like, "Can't open, open a bridge." bridge. He's yeah. like, "Can't yeah. open yeah. a oh, bridge." Hank. It's happened before. <laughs> just imagine feeling like you hit an imaginary wall. Like <laughs> you just have no idea that oh, it got yeah, clipped yeah, yeah. on a bridge. You just think you hit something. Do you even, right. do you even notice? They have to get rid do of you that even bridge. Feel it? Let's start a petition. I'm surprised something hasn't taken the bridge down like that. I think it's a railroad. It looks in the pictures. It looks like on top of the bridge is like oh, a rail. It's a, it's a railroad. railroad track. So they, that, or at least just take the pavement and just grind down the pavement a little bit. If we just push bikini <laughs> bottom. Do they end up pushing it? Yeah, of course, at the street and everything. You push. Just see it. <laughs> <laughs> How Whoa. heavy do you think that is? <laughs> For all of them to be able to push Bikini Bottom, <laughs> we all know SpongeBob a lot more than I do. I feel SpongeBob. Like, oh my god, dude! I'd that watch was my it every single day I after was a school. Disney Channel kid, Nickelodeon. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no! You you were a Disney Channel kid. Yeah, well, I just oh, feel like god, I gravitate it towards it more. But um, literally, figures <laughs> your Disney Channel side is showing. <laughs> your Disney childhood is showing. <laughs> I fucks with even Stevens though. You know what I'm saying? Yes, oh, my god. dude. I just we just recently watched uh, a couple episodes. Me and Carly, Shia LaBeouf is an incredible, mm -hmm. she's an incredible right. actor. Mm -hmm. Like it's cr like you would you didn't really notice it as a kid watching it. You're just like oh funny show, but you really watch it. Him out of everybody. Everybody's just mediocre and just Shia LaBeouf just next level. Kills well, that's why he took level. off. Like, oh, yeah, but he was crazy. You don't huge notice those things roles. as a kid when watching shows like that. Right. Do you remember True Confessions where he played the mentally challenged brother? No. Well, Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, it was a Disney Channel original movie. I just was about to start it. He, Disney he Channel has, had mentally challenged? Yes. Yeah. It's, no, it's like a really like sad, like serious uh, Disney Channel movie. He was playing... And the girl's like a vlogger. Like, the girl's like a vlogger, and she has a brother named Eddie, and he's mentally challenged. And guys, I wept when I was like in fourth or fifth grade watching this. Like, you know how like, people like, oh, mentally challenged movies, like, uh, yeah. he nails it. Like... It's like so good. nails it like the performance. Cuba Gooding like, Jr. in Radio Good. Yes. Or like or um what's his name? Who was in that movie? Sam. I am Sam. I haven't uh, seen I am Sam. Sean Penn. Sean Penn and oh. I am Sam with Dakota Fanning. Mm -hmm. That yes, but like that kind of just like true commitment to a character. Damn. It makes me so uh, I feel like, like happy for them, like seeing like really incredible child actors, and for some reason, like see, like old actors too, like senior citizens, like when they're like ninety years old and they can still fucking do a, do yeah. a whole performance and like remember lines and shit. Like that's that's crazy to Clint me. Clint Eastwood, Morgan Clint Eastwood Free is amazing. Dude, Morgan, I feel like he's he's not that old. How old is he? 
Clint Eastwood? Old, yeah. dude. Very he's old. old. Like, 80, he has, 89. An, a wow. He's 89? He's yeah. old, man. Dude, he's a He's beast. older than my grandparents. Dude, he's yes, he's been around for forever. Didn't Morgan Freeman like not get famous until like he was like 55, 50, like really? 60? Yeah. For uh, Shawshank Redemption, that was like his like... A, uh, breakout role. I feel like I've read still that. Got time, I made you yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, take we can have a breakout soaring. movie. Um, who was telling me? Uh, uh, Ryan, not Ryan Reynolds. Uh, who's the other one? Oh, Bradley Cooper. Oh, Bradley yeah. Cooper. Oh, okay. He didn't. Ha- he didn't get a start till he was like thirty. What, 34, 33? Well, he was in Wet Hot American Summer while he was in Georgetown. God, I, oh, sorry. I the the first one or the new Somebody's one? Somebody's got a crush over there. He was in uh, Wet Hot American Summer, the first one, yeah. He was in the first, first yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, Oh, shit. And yeah. then they put him in the new one. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I didn't know that he was in the first, first but it's one. Cr- no, what's crazy about the Bradley Cooper thing is that he was a student at Georgetown uh, interviewing for Inside the Actors Studio. Yeah. Robert De Niro came and visited. So there's Ooh. a there's a scene where the students get to ask the actor on stage a I've question. Yeah. And Bradley Cooper <laughs> oh, is a I student. And he goes, uh, yes, Mr. De Niro, hi, my name's Bradley. I'm a student here. It I'm looked crazy. like a movie scene. It didn't look real. It looked, wow. it, looked it was crazy seeing that. That's really cool. Like it almost looked staged. That's so it was cool. Too perfect. Yeah, I like your that. dream. I love seeing stuff like that or like musicians that look up to somebody and then they have like a song with them. I'm like, what, what the fuck? Wasn't there like That's a Pete so crazy. picture where Bruno Mars was like in the back of his oh, picture? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like... It was like a fan picture. Yeah. Whoa. Bruno, Bruno Mars, Mars was just chilling. Like this. Yeah. yeah. Pete it's, Wentz? Yeah. Like Fall yeah. Boy Pete Wentz? Yeah. 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 Really? Pete, I saw him uh, not too long ago at... Uh, coming uh, out of Jones on 3rd. Jones on 3rd. <laughs> I did not know he had like yeah. long, long. Yeah, hair. he looked different. He, I, it took a look because you, you had to really look at his face to be like, right. Oh shit, that's Pete Wentz. Ryan Gosling actually used to live like right around the corner from Zane's house, what? and oh, I was pulling yeah, into he, the neighborhood, and there's this really sharp cur- uh, curve where really only one car can go down like at a time, and you have to kind of <laughs> wait for it. And I saw this big old Range Rover coming down, and I kind of stopped and. You know, let this car go down, and this guy had his windows down, and he just like gave me a wave, and it was Ryan Gosling. Shut the hell up! That's clear crazy. as day. Clear oh as my day. god! Did I, did I tell you about the a time I saw Amy Poehler driving by the other way? So I was on. Oh right, right, I was, yeah. Everybody. I was on. I was on Mulholland Drive, and I was driving this way, like while cars are coming this way, and <laughs> Zane explaining how roads work. <laughs> <laughs> and so she drives by, and the literally the face she was making, I couldn't believe it. She was like this. <laughs> like that. Oh, she's, driving by, like she was like her practic- character, like she was so practicing weird. her lines. Yeah, yeah, on her way to whatever she was doing. Yeah, but I could not believe I saw her doing that because as soon as cool. she drove, I was like. Was she just practicing her lines? Yeah. I cannot believe she was making that's that crazy. face. Watch like a movie come out with her and like that's her <laughs> character. Like she's like this weird like. <laughs> that's exactly. She was just. It, 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 I couldn't. I it's couldn't funny, believe it. Cool. It's funny how you see that a lot in LA. Like I look over at cars and someone just has their lines out and they're like. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I see it on the freeway all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Can we talk about the time where um I saw you? We so oh, it was me and yeah. Amanda. We were stopped at a stoplight on Ventura. Oh and I was like, yeah, oh shit! There's Matt. Matt's like, oh my god, Zane, Zane, look who's next to you! And, and I was like, what? And I turned. It was George Clooney. George Clooney was right. Like you don't to expect to see me? that. Like yeah. that's. But I was already, I was already mind blown because Matt, I saw Matt on the street. <laughs> and then, I was like, Matt, I know. So what's then up? I was, I was already freaking out. Like you're not oh gonna God. believe who's on Matt the other was side. Just like, no, not me. Look who's next to you. And he looks over. He's like, Holy I just, the, I love the, 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 the way my head was. I was just like this. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What a joke. He, he was in a royal blue Tesla. He heard you screaming. Oh really? No, because he was just like, he was like this. Yeah, 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 I think I, yeah. Oh, wait, I can't believe George Clooney heard your voice. <laughs> He's listening to the oh, podcast you know, right now, like. Jo- <laughs> George yeah. Clooney in the movie Descendants plays a character named Matt King. That's what? Yeah. Weird. What does it mean? <laughs> you no, know, I know. I've actually made like a compilation of the movie every time he says Matt King. So there's like a scene where like George what Clooney a crazy, is like, like Hi, why I'm do Matt we King. have oh my these gosh, that's so cool. crazy yeah. connections with people yeah. like that? Zane, it's crazy. You have seen every character in the From office. From the office, yeah. Every single person in the office. I, like, Who did you tell me the other day? You were like, so you know how I see all the characters from the office? Just saw so. Oh yeah, just saw. He was the last one, last one out of the cast, and I saw him at a birthday. Oh wait, oh sorry, this is uh, really BJ, random. BJ Novak. Oh, BJ Novak. Oh, right. guess what? Yeah. And this is so really random. Weird. Do you know who Jamie Presley is uh, from? Like, my name is Earl. Oh, oh no, the, the main one. Oh the, no, the, the blonde the big, girl. The blonde girl. Oh, the blonde yeah. girl. Yeah. You know she's married to a guy whose last name is Hajazi. What? Yeah. I yeah. got chills again. They have, yeah, they have. Hijazi. Yeah. N- I've never, I've never met anybody yeah, she that has, has three, the last name three kids with them too, and they all are named Hajazi. I like was looking that up the other day, and Hold I was like, H I J Z I. Yes. 
What? Jamie Presley from Long, Long Lost Family. I can't, I can't believe I'm married. Famous relative chat. <laughs> Famous relative chat. <laughs> I know. I just thought it was bizarre. Heath and I uh, did our first college, college show. Oh, yeah. A couple days ago. That's that was really that was cool, really USC. Uh, mm-hmm. U- yeah, USC. I was so fucking was scared. Just... It wasn't our show, so we were... A lo- we were alongside with like other people that were yeah, performing also. Yeah, there was like also. musical performances, dance performances. Yeah. Um, and then we were like the special guest that they invited. Yeah. We were scared that if they even said what was happening in the end because we were hoping we weren't a surprise guest. Because- yeah, we were like... I- I, well, my fear was that it was a talent show, and like people were going there <laughs> yeah. to see like the students perform, and then it's like, and we got Zayn and Heath, and they're like, <laughs> hey, y'all um, talk for forty five minutes. Like, like, what did I sign up? It's for? so funny. Matt said like he went. I was like, what's up, guys? And then. <laughs> <laughs> he walked out on stage not knowing how many people were in the audience, so he was just like USC, and it was like a smaller crowd. Yeah, because we were told there was like a thousand people out there. Yeah, and no, then, it wasn't a thousand. People. And there was, <laughs> <laughs> there was like there was a couple hundred. Yeah. yeah, no, it was a very it was a very uh, intimate crowd, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was but it was great. One. But there was there was people there that didn't know who we were. So like as soon as we got on stage, I looked at one person first, just one person, and this dude was just like like that and apparently we asked who knew us and he didn't know us so that was the first there was there was quite a few people there that had no idea who we were and i was like oh shit like they were here for the talent show. Like, <laughs> wow. And there was someone sleeping in the front row. Did you see that? Person? <laughs> no way. Oh, I didn't want to like call them out and I didn't even want to bring it up oh. to you guys. Oh, this person was knocked out. Matt, I, you should have you should have told us. Well, like, I, I couldn't. So, I had no I idea. I would have woken them up. Like, really they funny. were kind of so far away. I couldn't tell if it was an older woman or like a stoner skater kid. Because like <laughs> it was like the chin was up to the ceiling and like their hair, <laughs> was, shaggy hair was back. <laughs> People were definitely just procrastinating and not wanting to take exams yeah yeah, yeah it was a very different crowd but it was a good crowd they were actually fun, really nice no it was so fun and they fun. seemed they seemed pretty into it i hope yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but people came up to us after and they were like that was awesome thank you so much yeah. so thank yeah. you usc yeah, for not, having us we, yeah. we really had a blast many more to come great. yeah right? invite us to your college it, it felt like uh like practice for when we go on tour yeah <sighs> oh, exactly yeah. Podcast tour gonna be lit, oh, people. Speaking of that, though, people should comment on the video or email us what city you would like to see us in. Sorry, guys, this is our first time doing this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ever. We're gonna, we're gonna look back and laugh at that first one. <laughs> It'll be fine. All right, so all right, time to move on. All right, actually, let's end it. We've been talking for a minute, an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> it goes quicker and quicker. Every, it really does. Yeah, it's so fun. I love so doing smooth. It. I know. You know how I know we're having a good episode when I'm sweating the whole time. Like I'm completely <laughs> drenched right He's now. He's all hot. And Worked up, <laughs> really worked up, and this cast is. Just you know what's like, crazy though is we cut this and then we sit in the same spot and still talk for another thirty minutes yeah. before like you guys leave. And yeah. we still kind of have our like podcast voice on. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, guys, thank you again for tuning in to Zanny Heath Unfiltered episode fourteen, baby. Hey, we hey, really hey. appreciate it, guys. We're getting bigger and bigger. You guys are <laughs> telling your friends, expanding the podcast. Oh, we're audience, getting bigger and bigger. All and, right. Uh, we really appreciate. I'm 215 pounds. No, Zay, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> gain five pounds, baby. It's because I can't do I, all these medications. I can't. <laughs> the hair is keeping them from working out. The arm. Oh my, <laughs> you cannot catch a break. Um, but thank you guys again. Please, if you haven't left a review on the podcast, please make sure to do so. Also, we have Zayn and Heath unfiltered merch that we have out. Oh, we are not. But we are oh, not. Yeah, Matt, show it off. Woo! Mm. The neon light sign is not for sale. I know Heath pointed that out, uh, pointed that when he said merch was on sale. But but one day, you <laughs> never know. You should make mini ones. Ooh, like we, mini desk ooh, we that should. would be so no, cool. No, we should make ornaments. Okay, well, we got to get to production fast. Yeah. <laughs> because people have already decorated their trees. <laughs> we got a movie to write. <laughs> we got ornaments. We got a patent to file, we a got board sh- game. Right. Shit popping off. Oh, <laughs> a board game. A <laughs> the board, board game. game, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But thank you guys for tuning in to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. We really appreciate it. Guys, the podcast video comes out on Tuesday. Make sure to check that out. On YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. And the audio uh-huh. form comes out on podcast apps spotify and all those uh cool old podcast apps on monday <laughs> every monday baby every monday we love y'all peace and blessings as always and when you're out there hope you guys are having a great monday bring the juice bring the funny bring the juice bring the, the funny, funny. Mm-hmm. the juice the, the funny. funny and then uh have a wonderful monday morning yeah oh uh, can i say one more joke before we go of course yeah. um it better be good uh, no it's good 
Um, guys, introducing the new cast member of the Black Squad. Oh, <laughs> uh, very good. I'm wearing a cast. <laughs> He's here right. till Thursday. Bye, guys. We'll see you next Monday. We love you so much. Mwah. And Zayn Heath unfiltered out. Oh, Mwah. Mwah. sass. Mwah. <laughs>